Sitting up nice and tall with your palms on your thighs, take a few deep breaths in and a few deep breaths out. Inhale and exhale. In our first pose, we'll begin to move the chair back away from your desk. Place the palms on your knees and we'll just take a few cat cows seated. So inhale, gaze up and exhale, arching the back, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, opening up your chest. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, feel the flesh on the belly start to stretch. And exhale, rolling down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, pull those shoulders back. Exhale, draw it all in. Inhale, coming into a straight spine. And we'll take a trap stretch by bringing the left arm overhead to the right ear and gently drawing the left ear down towards the left shoulder reaching the right arm down towards the ground and drawing the shoulder down onto the back away from the ear. Breathing into the neck space. Any pockets of tension. And breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Feet are placed on the ground, nice and flat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. And then bring the left hand to the left side of the face. Head back to control and switching sides. Reach the right arm over towards the left ear. Right ear down towards the right and the left arm out facing the ground. Fingertips reaching, left shoulder away from the ear, gliding down the back. And without forcing this stretch, just pull slightly the head to the right. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, exhale, bringing your head back up to center, we'll come in, into eagle arms, bringing the right arm under the left and just grab onto your shoulders, opposite shoulders to start. You can stay here or then reach the arms up towards the sky, fingertips reach, crossing at the wrists. Shoulders pulled down, away from you. And trying to find as much space as you can between your earlobe and the top of your shoulder with a nice and straight spine. Breathe in, exhale, relieving any tension that's built up from typing, being on the phone, staring at a computer, Take another breath in, exhale, release, reach the arms up to the sky, nice big stretch, and then on your exhale, we'll switch sides, left arm underneath the right, grab onto your shoulders, give yourself a hug, and either stay here, or you can reach the arms up towards the sky, crossing at the wrists, shoulders Pull down, away from you. And sitting up with your head right over your hips, all in a straight line, no slouching. Holding tension from writing, for working comes up in many ways, so let this pose work its magic. 
Another breath in. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale, release the pose. Reach the arms up and exhale, bring them back down. We're going to take a wrist stretch so you can walk your hips further back towards the back of the seat of your chair. Fingertips facing down. You'll press them into your desk. So you might have to move around a little bit to find where your stretch will be, but you're going to be pressing the back of your fingers, your fingertips, into the side of the desk. Arms are straight. You can play with the, where the weight is, either pressing more towards the top of the fingers or the heels of the hands. Try not to move around so much when you find that spot that needs a little extra TLC. And just breathe here. Exhale, release, and we'll come into a chair twist. So we'll bring the right hand to the back of the chair, the left hand to the outside of the right leg, and just with a nice strong spine turning towards the right. Pull those shoulders away from your ears, sit up tall, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. With no forcing, just kind movement, a nice spinal twist. Try not to let your shoulders creep up to the ears. Keep drawing them down the back. Breathe in. Exhale, twist a bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale, release. Come back to center. Just pause here for a moment and then switch sides. Left hand to the back of the chair. Right hand to the outside of the left leg. Lengthen and twist. Nice, gentle, easy. Feet are still flat on the ground. Spine is erect. And the face is soft as you twist and lengthen. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And on your exhale, drawing yourself back to center. Pause here, let your body feel the remnants of that twist. As we begin to move to the next posture, interlace your hands behind your head, bring your elbows towards one another, and start to curl your chin to your chest and really rounding into your spine. Almost like you're cradling your head. Feeling the vertebrae in your neck start to lengthen. Allowing this pose to feel just really nice, opening, spacious. Keep breathing. Inhale. And on your exhale, rolling up, release the interlace. And we'll take half pigeon. So we're going to bring the right ankle right over the left knee, flexing that right foot, just sit up nice and tall, pausing anywhere along the way, maybe bringing your arms directly onto your shin. Just be careful of the knee. You don't need to go too far in this pose just till you feel some opening. Try and keep your right foot flexed. Maybe you'll start to reach the arms down to the ground. If your 
desk is right near your forehead. You can feel free to let your head rest right on your desk. Breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come on up. Release the crossing of the legs and we'll just pause for a moment before we switch. So go ahead and bring the left ankle over the right knee. Left foot is flexed. Drawing the left knee down. And then coming into any step of the pose. Placing the arms on the leg. Find some rest here as you open up the hips. If you're willing to go deeper, bringing the arms down. Again, you can place the forehead right on your desk. And breathe. On your inhale, start to walk yourself back up and release the crossing of the leg. Just sit up nice and tall for a moment. Hands to the heart. Namaste.